going through the internet on the day of the funeral, finding nice things that people had written about Robert Jordan um, in order to uh, make Harriet feel better and was printing them off. And she came across something I had written about what Robert Jordan had meant to me. Um, and uh, she, it really touched her. So she printed it off and she actually put it on the top of the stack and said, read this one first. Um, and Harriet read it um, and it, it was really powerful to her. So she called Tom Doherty, um, the publisher at Tor and said, who's this guy? And he said, oh, he's pretty good. He's brand new though. Let me send you Mistborn, uh, which was, had been published that year. Um, uh, actually the year before, uh, in 2006. And so Harriet read Mistborn, she really liked it. She thought I had a really good style to match. She had read on my blog that I, was, uh, that I had read the Wheel of Time books and was a fan. Um, and so she decided I was the person and she just called me one day on the phone and said, will you do this? Um, and I mean, it was stunning. I was not expecting it. Um, and The Wheel of Time had sold 50 million books worldwide. Um, and so it's, it was a pretty big deal. Like, um, I was kind of dumbfounded that someone would hand it to me. Um, but she did. She, like I said, dying request from her husband, find somebody. She asked me. Um, I said yes after um, some deliberation and thinking about it. Um, and then I took over the series. Um, and actually, the best, uh, the best thing that could have happened would be Robert Jordan finishing it. But the fact that he couldn't but had Harriet, his editor, who knew that series so well, was part of why the series that I worked on turned out as well as it did, because we had Harriet. Um, and Harriet, she didn't, she's an editor. She's a really good editor. And she said to me, you have complete creative freedom. Do whatever you think the series needs, but you have to convince me, the editor, that it's the right thing. And she, um, she was able to both wear the hat of Robert Jordan's widow and wear the hat of spectacular fantasy editor. And she knew just how much freedom to give me and where to pull me back if I was going too far. And the end result uh, turned out very, very well. Um, and I, I point at Harriet as why. 